Hello everyone, welcome to the DIY Media Studio. Today we are going to talk about the room, how to set up the available equipment, and the two basic programs. The DIY Media Studio is located on the third floor of the Irving K. Barber Learning Center inside the Music Art and Architecture Library. To use the room, first you have to book it through the UBC Library website. Upon your arrival, please ask the staff to open the door for you. Turn on the light switch in the room and at the desk and begin to log into your CWL account. After you've logged in, you will find Audacity and Camtasia in the dock. Audacity is a recording program that allows you to record voiceovers, podcasts, and so on. Camtasia is a video editing program. Let's introduce Audacity and the equipment needed for this program. There are two Audacity recording mics and a sound mixer. Besides the sound mixer is a page showing the default settings of the mixer. Please reset the mixer to its default settings after use. The first column of knobs controls microphone 1. The second column of knob controls microphone 2. Remember all the knobs should be set to 12 o'clock. The knob on the bottom left hand corner is the general volume knob. It controls the output volume of your recording, which is represented by the waveforms on Audacity. The higher the volume, the larger the waveform, but make sure the waveforms remain within 1 and negative 1. However, the volume of the mic should be calibrated to the same volume level. Next is gain. Gain and volume work in very similar ways. The only difference is that gain controls the input volume of your recording. A general rule of thumb is to stay within negative 12 or negative 6. Now you are ready to do a test run. After the test run, you are ready to do the full recording. After recording, please remember to save the project into your own hard drive. If your project is unfinished, save your recording as an Audacity file by saving as a project. If you have finished your recording and want to save it as an MP3 file, go to File, Export, Export as MP3. Don't forget to save 30 minutes to an hour at the end of your session for the file to render if the files are too big. Now let's move on to Camtasia. When you open Camtasia, it will open to a tutorial for first time users. Please watch the video for more detailed instructions. Welcome to Camtasia. This sample project will provide a quick tour and get you started. If you're looking for more in-depth tutorials that walk you through the entire process of recording, editing, and sharing your videos, check out the video tutorials on our website. And if you want to open a fresh copy of this sample project, you can find it in the Help menu. Right now, you're in the Camtasia Editor. The editor is made up of the timeline, where you can arrange and edit your clips, the canvas, which is your video preview, and the tools panel, where your media is stored, along with shapes, animations, effects, and more. At the top of the tools panel, there's a button to launch the Camtasia Recorder a tool that captures all of the action on your computer screen. When you're done recording, each clip will be placed in your media bin and on your timeline. If there are parts of your recording you don't need to show, you can trim them from the end or cut them from the middle. If you'd like to add other media, titles, or effects, drag them from the Tools panel to the Timeline. If you choose an effect, such as an animation or transition, the clips on the Timeline will highlight, showing you where it can be applied. While you're working on your project, use the Canvas to position your media and preview any edits you make. 
You can use the Properties panel to fine-tune your media and effects, such as positioning an object to an exact location, rotating an object, or even changing its scale and opacity. When you're satisfied with your video, produce it, either as a file on your computer or share it directly to popular web destinations. Now it's time for you to try. When you finish recording, remember to save your work to your own device. First, go to Share on the top. In the Share section, choose the export file. Please remember to have your own hard drive with you as UBC computers automatically erase everything on the desktop when you restart. Make sure you give yourself adequate time to save. It could take up to one hour. If you save directly with the Save As button, it will bring all the sources into a Camtasia file. Remember to bring all the source files with you and link resources when you reopen it. By the way, Camtasia is available for students, faculty, and staff. You can find it through the UBC IT page. Before leaving the room, please remember to sign off. Another reminder to save all your files to your hard drive because after you log off, all the information will be wiped. The last step is to click the End Session button on the desktop and turn off the light behind the computer. Check once again that the mixer is back to its default setting. Now you're ready to close the door and say goodbye to the DIY Media Studio. I hope that you've enjoyed listening to our instructions. See you next time!